Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 28th, 2020. And as you can see, the US dollar will start with that. But before, you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So... The US dollar fell quite aggressively today. We fell underneath the 50 moving average, but we ended the session uh, just above the 50 moving average. So that is quite encouraging. Uh, if we basically uh, stopped underneath the 50 moving average and would have received another uh, red candlestick underneath the 50 moving average, that could have been a sign that we would go uh, significantly lower. But as we basically uh, pulled back and ended uh, right above the 50 moving average and uh, this probably is a sign that we are going to go higher tomorrow uh, probably to the highs here at 94 um, and even if that if that breaks we'll probably go to 94.74 and after that to uh, um, to uh, the two, uh, 200 moving average if we break below here tomorrow and so on, that probably is a sign that we will go and test this area here, which uh, was previous support at uh, 92.56 there above. And if that breaks, then we will go all the way down to 91.71. The technical indicators for uh, the US, in, the US dollar index are quite mixed. Uh, if you look at the MACD, it's technically flat. We are basically right on the signal line. The stochastic is about to turn around. We are trending above the, the signal line. However, the CCI and the, the uh, especially the CCI is pointing to uh, lower levels. That may well be because we had two consecutive days of uh, of lower levels here, and that's why. The CCI is so negative here. Um, the RSI is technically flat. So at this point, we can basically go up. We can go down. It is um, it is um, the most encouraging sign of it. If, if you want to interpret this, is that we basically pull back above the 50 moving average. And that is a sign that buyers come in and pressure uh, this up. So if you look at oil... We did rally quite significantly, and and this is mainly due to the U.S. dollar index. Uh, do, there is a negative correlation between commodities and uh, the precious metals and so on. So that's why I also added a U.S. dollar index. So when the U.S. dollar index um, declines or depreciates, uh, then it is uh, very bullish for most commodities. And that was... Uh, also the case for oil today where we rally quite significantly however this uh, price level here has proven to be significant resistant it we have tried one two three four and almost five times today to try to get above the uh, 41.52 dollars uh, um, and we just can't do it and usually when, when we test an area that often, we have a breakdown. And what we see today, we basically rallied and broke down quite significantly. Um, if you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly flat. They're not giving uh, any really clear sign that this is a market that is going to collapse or anything. Um, we are have been trading for several months now at a high of 43.90 two dollars and the lows of uh, 36.30 uh, uh, 34 so we are right in the middle uh, this could go up to the upside however this area here has proven to be significant resistant so that is not very likely if we break below the 50 moving average then it opens the door to these levels here which also were significant support at 90 39.48 and if that breaks then we'll go definitely to the 200 moving average and even lower than that i do believe in the long run that we will go significantly lower due to the fact that the world economy is in, uh, in the state that it is both uh, in europe and in uh, and united states and so on 
um, and therefore demand is, will be significantly lower. Uh, also, coronavirus numbers are soaring all around the world, and that is just going to bring havoc to um, transportation, to to airline industry, to uh, and so on. And there will be much uh, less demand in the world economy, and therefore it will fall. I do believe that it will break f- uh, in, within times, probably a few weeks. Break uh, thirty six dollars, go to f- thirty five, and then also down to thirty dollars. No interest in technically buying oil. I'll just I'm just shorting every single um, uh, upside. We uh, every time it runs in the resistant, I tend to short oil. So natural gas. So natural gas again uh, was really bullish today. We uh, broke the previous highs here of uh, three point eleven. Now we're trading at around 3.16, and at this point, we are really overstretched. However, this is a market tech that, when it takes off, can take off really aggressively, like, for example, here back in 2018. So it is, even though we are overstretched, this is a market tank that can and has proven in previous years and that it can become extremely overbought um, and even though and not fall so but at this point this is just too risky to technically buy this at this point we technically need a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to be able to enter this market a break below the 50 moving average is not likely but if that happens then we have the 200 moving average underneath if you look at the technical indicators they are all very bullish at this point and they are also nearly overbought. We just look at the RSI. We are at 69. We're one, one point away from being overbought. The same goes for the CCI. It is showing signs that it basically it is overbought territory. And we just need a clear sign that this line is going to go down. And then we'll have something looking similar to this. A very aggressive fall towards the 50 moving average. Uh, both the... Uh, the MACD and the stochastic are very bullish for um, natural gas. This is not a market that you should short. We are clearly an uptrend. However, we are very overstretched and should expect a pullback um, anytime soon. So if we look at copper. So again, copper tried to rally the rally again, and we are not getting Technically, anywhere. We are rallying up towards uh, 3.11, and then we basically pull back. And this will only happen of probably a few more times before we basically uh, uh, fall towards the downside. The main reason why we, are, uh, we had this rally today was due to the US dollar index of, uh, depreciating and also um, uh, signs of recovery in the uh, Chinese economy. Uh, economy and as the biggest um, producer of goods uh, in the world when that economy basically takes off it also has a positive effect on copper however we pull back to uh, 3.07 and at this point i do believe it's just a matter of time before we test the 50 moving average break below that and go and test these levels at 2.86 technical indicators are very bullish at this point. We are not overbought. Uh, we can see that both on the RSI, we can also see that on the CCI. Uh, the stochastic and the MACD are still bullish. So we may still hang around here for a few more trading sessions, but I do anticipate a pullback towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll go to these lower levels here at around 2.87. And if that breaks, then we will go to these levels at the 2.8, uh, 2.78, uh, and then towards the 50 move, 200 moving average at 2.67. Um, estimate for copper are around this region from major producers of copper. So at this point, this price is uh, overvalued uh, when, if you. Uh, if you compare the analysis uh, of a major producer of, of copper, where they expect copper prices to be in the in the 
in the long run, technically. So expect a fall in copper. Um, if you look at gold, we try to rally again up towards the 50 moving average, and yet again we are have been rejected. We are we have a trend line here that we have to break. It is just on the 50 moving average uh, as well. And at this point, I think it's just a matter of time before we really break down. If we see a massive move to the upside in the US dollar index tomorrow, that may be um, a really horrible day uh, for gold. So the way gold has been trading, we can see that it fell, traded sideways, fell, traded sideways. And at this point, I just expect another massive fall similar to these two uh, until we go straight sideways again. I do believe we, that's going to happen until we hit the 200 moving average or get close to the 200 moving average and then we'll go continue to the upside. I am fairly bullish on gold on the, on the, in the long run due to the expanding uh, monetary policies of uh, the central banks around the world. Even though we break through the 50 moving average and this trend line, we have to get through this area, which proved to be significant resistant as well. So there's just too much resistance above. At this point, we are going to trade um, lower. And the first uh, support with that we will find is at this level at around 1850, then to 1800. And then we'll find uh, that the 200 moving average will probably be significant support and buyers will definitely come in in the area 1800. If you look technical indicators, they are all over the place at the moment. Um, RSI is right in the middle. Uh, the CCI is pointing to higher prices. Uh, Stochastic is pointing to lower momentum and uh, MACD is basically flat. So the technical indicators are all over the place and they are technically useless at this point. The best point to look at is basically the resistant areas and support areas uh, in order to make these trades. So we look at silver. It is very similar to gold. We uh, rallied, pulled back. There is just too much resistance above here for us to get through. Even though we break the 50 moving average, we have to get through this area here, which also be significant resistant. So at this point, I do believe we will uh, have a similar pattern as gold. We break down, trade sideways, break down, trade sideways, and then break down and trade sideways until we get uh, close to the uh, 200 moving average or the $20 range before we basically go to the upside. Technical indicators for this are a little bit more... Um, uh, bullish at this point. RSI is technically flat. So, you know, the CCI is pointing to higher levels, price levels, or the trend upwards. The same goes for the stochastics. It's about to turn around, and we are trading above the signal line. However, I do believe we will break down, go sideways, similar to gold. A break above the 50 moving average will leave us um, testing this area here, which I don't believe that will get through at this point. So if you look at cocoa, so cocoa did exactly what we expected. Uh, we ran into support at this area here, which previous was support as well. And now we are rallying up towards at least the 200 moving average. Whether or not we get rejected there is very likely to be fairly honest. Uh, I do expect, do believe that this will be a trend line that will be very difficult to get through. So at this point, I'm, we probably get the tra we trade up towards the 200 moving average or this trend line, and then break down even further. If we break this, the 200 moving average, then we run into the 50 moving average will also be resistant. So at this point, nah, probably not. Uh, we are trading within a a bigger range of 2.7 to 2.0 all the way down here. So we are right in the middle at the moment and we're just jumping around at the moment. It's almost impossible to trade this. This could be, uh, this is the bottom, this is a high. We are, we could most likely be trading all the way down to the bottom before we go up or we trade towards this support area and then trade up again and so on. 
Um, there, if we get close to the 15 and 200 moving average and you get rejected here, then there probably is a reason, uh, opportunity to make a short. Or if we break below this area here and that opens the door to these lows and that is also a possibility to short. Otherwise, in order to buy this market, we basically have to break this 200 moving average, break the 50 moving average, which is highly unlikely at this point, or we wait until we get to the lower levels here in order to make a buy. Um, a buy. Technical indicators for Cocoa are, are very bullish, to be fairly honest. Uh, if we look at the RSI, it's right in the middle, so there's a lot of room to the upside. The, the CCI has been oversold, an oversold area, and it's pointed to upward, upward, upward momentum. Same goes for stochastic and the MACD. So it may well be that we'll go uh, all the way up to the 15 moving average when you, you know, when you look at the technical indicators. It is possible. So if you look at platinum, platinum broke down. But we're still hanging around the 200 moving average. We are not going anywhere. We're trading in between the 50, 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. This seems to be significant resistance. This seems to be significant support. And at some point, we will break out at, at, at some point. I just don't favor the downside. The downside has significant resistance in, in this area here, this entire area. We ran into it only a few weeks ago and it got rejected. It has additional uh, resistance underneath uh, before we can basically go to these lows. So we may hang around here for a while uh, and then we go up. If we break down, there's just too much resistance. There's gonna be so much choppy trading that is basically uh, not possible to trade. If you look at the, the technical indicators, they are mixed. RSI is technically flat, the CCI is pointed to lower levels, the stochastic is about to turn around, and the MACD is basically flat. So, well, that happens when you're basically trading sideways like this. If you break above the 50 moving average, that opens the door to these levels here, around in 940 to all the way to 1000. So, if you look at sugar, Sugar, again, rallied significantly. Uh, at this point, we are way overbought. And we could basically fall at any point. It would be a, uh, a very good opportunity if we fell all the way towards the 50 moving average, which I, it technically could happen any day. It can happen tomorrow, happen on, on, uh, on Wednesday or Thursday or so on. It, when you basically are all bought like this, it is something that can happen at any time. However, this market has proven to, um, take when it takes off, it takes off really aggressively and also to the downside. Of course, this is the coronavirus and so on. But I favor a pullback in order to enter this market. It is just too risky to put a buy, um, a buy position at, at this point. Uh, and I'm no interest in basically shorting this because we are clearly in the uptrend. So a pullback towards the 50 moving average, it will be definitely be support. That will be an opportunity basically to buy. So if you look at wheat, wheat rallied again today and, and then pulled back. And uh, this may well be the signal of uh, a pullback towards the 50 moving average. We can see that the technical indicators are about to turn around. I like to look at the CCI for the direction that it shows, and it basically shows that it is it showing exhaustion, which usually means that we are about to turn around. We are in overbought territory, so this is a, um, a market that most likely will fall towards the 50 moving average, is something similar to this and this. And then when we get close to the 50 moving average, that is the time when you basically can enter this market. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average. Enter this market for a buy at the moment is just a really, really, really risky trade. But we are 
very overstretched and the pullback towards the 50 moving average and the buy there is basically the right tactic at this point. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you very much. Thank you.